Hi, my name is Morgan Goldstein, and I am an intern at ESPN West Palm Beach. ESPN West Palm is owned by Good Karma Broadcasting, LLC, and have, they have two signals in West Palm Beach, one on AM at 106.3 and a newly minted Deportes channel on 760 AM. The station's general manager is Steve Politina, who is also a part owner of Good Karma Broadcasting. At ESPN West Palm, they believe in a hands-on environment which allows interns to get as much experience in the areas of events, radio broadcast, marketing, and television. For these different areas, I worked with Nikki Morley, Wells Duesenberry, Pratik Patel, as well as my intern supervisor, Yolanda Hill. Through their guidance, I am now well-versed in these various aspects of the company. The GKB marketing method is heavily influenced by the company's core values. The core values include honesty, over-deliver, listen, work ethic, and follow-up. These values help make GKB different than other marketing companies. Jordan Sherwood, the sales manager, explains how they open up a partnership rather than close a deal. Well, we don't close deals. We open partnerships because it is a mutually beneficial relationship with Good Karma Broadcasting. Here is Morley as she describes how her job is unique compared to other marketing and sales consultants. I am a sports marketing consultant here at ESPN West Palm. On a day-to-day -day basis, I reach out to local businesses here in our backyard, Palm Beach County and Treasure Coast. We come up with uh, marketing strategies by meeting with people without any predetermined uh, marketing campaigns, we learn about their businesses and we create a strategy that will be most effective for them and we will open a partnership that's mutually beneficial for all. During my time at ESPN West Palm, I was able to accompany Jamie Bertolis, another marketing consultant at the station, on a first meeting with a potential partner. Before the meeting, she had me do some pre-search on them to determine information about the company, such as the year it was founded and what they were all about. During the meeting, she did not show the potential partners a rate card or try to fit them in to a campaign. Everything at ESPN West Palm is 100% unique in order to fit the individual partner's needs. Aside from marketing, I collaborated with Morley on the new ESPN West Palm Google Plus account. This account is designed to help boost the station's search engine optimization due to author-rich snippets that Google Plus uses in searches. I was selected to oversee the page's use, track growth, as well as post information about high school sports. But like Nikki said, ESPN West Palm wanted to improve SEO. No, no. So we have a Google Plus page, and Google Plus is similar to Facebook and Twitter. You can connect with friends via circles and Google Hangouts. Pratik Patel, now who helps out in radio production, was a former intern at the station himself. He believes that this has helped him in his interactions with the intern and has enjoyed his time not only as an intern, but as a full ESPN West Palm teammate. I didn't have any experience with any of this beforehand, so, um, you know, treating the interns now, you almost do it in a way where, you know, it's, it's easier to relate. Like, you're not necessarily being, you know, a teacher in the sense that you're having to explain what you know because as they're learning, I'm still learning more. Like, I, I end up learning something, you know, different every time I'm in here. So, I mean, I think it allows me to teach in a way that's not necessarily condescending or... Radio production is one of my favorite aspects of my internship. Brian Rowitz and Pratik Patel taught me how to use the soundboard, as well as the radio station operating system Wide Orbit. During my regular Monday and Friday night shifts, I helped Patel produce different radio shows. These pictures were taken during Friday nights for the High School Hysteria show broadcast. I was able to shadow him on the FAU sidelines during a game against Marshall and their homecoming game against Tulane. I was able to see how a football game was filmed and different techniques cameramen employ. For example, they film on the same side for the entire games. So they do not confuse viewers during highlights. Here are some pictures of me at the football game with Duesenberry.
Yolanda Hill is the station's promotion coordinator, is in charge of most of the ESPN 106.3 events. Every Thursday during the high school football season, I worked Football Night in South Florida Game of the Week. I was part of the ESPN West Palm Street team and interacted with fans during games and conducted the 2Js football toss. Before the event, I would put up signs around the location in order to promote the station at the site. Some weeks, I was Mr. Slice from Papa John's during football night. I was asked to join Ken Lavica, an on-air host, as he attended a Dolphins game in the press box on October 31st, 2013. This was an interesting experience for me to be able to see what members of the press do on a daily basis. I really appreciate this unique experience that I was able to get through my internship. I sat in the press box with other members of the media and watched the game. After each quarter, I received updated statistics from each team as well as injury updates. After the game, I went into the locker room to get player interviews. I was able to get quotes from different offensive and defensive players. Cameron Wake, who made the game-winning sack against the Bengals quarterback, held his own press conference outside the locker room, which I also attended. Through my internship at ESPN West Palm, I was able to get exposure in various aspects of the sports management industry. I am thankful for this wonderful opportunity and can't wait to apply these newfound skills to other internships in the future.